Hey guys, fix the camera like always. Matt here, back for a, uh, a video about, I've decided to do it about Hasbro tonight. Uh, just my thoughts on the company, where it is, and how the, the community reacts to it, and how they critique it. Uh, my history with Hasbro goes back decades, like many of us. Uh, I remember a quick short story that some of you may already know because I tell it a lot. Uh, I, I wrote actually in uh, either late 91 or early 92, right before G2 actually hit the stores and or I heard anything about it. Uh, I was like nine, eight or nine at the time. And uh, I wrote to them saying, I, I wish ha uh, the Transformers would make a return. And they actually took the time to respond to me. And they said that... Uh, We'll keep your advice under or your uh, basically we'll forward our, your message to the right people and we'll we know that it's a popular brand and we'll uh, we appreciate your right reaching out to us. So a little while later, and I can't tell you exactly how long later because it's been decades since then. Uh, me and my brother we walked into a truth and we saw the Dinobots, the G two Dinobots, the Grimlock, Slag, and Snarl on the pegs and we were so ecstatic about it uh i don't know if we got anybody that night. i know we ended up we got we got slag uh but either way i was so appreciative just of the fact that they took the time to to respond to my letter and my inquiry back then uh, i know since then I, we've written to them a couple times and they've responded and i've called them a few times and they've they've uh they've been really cool uh, I feel like a lot of the fans, and, and this is these are my own opinions. I, I'm sorry if I make anybody upset with my opinions, like many people are watching, but I don't think that uh, that Hasbro deserves a lot of the crap it gets from the fans. I think we need to be uh, pretty appreciative of what we have. Uh, you know, Transformers in design, I know that the costs are increasing and, and for us, retail costs and secondary market prices are, are steadily increasing, and the prices of plastic are fluctuating. And you know, but but to me, everything. You know, there was a period of time where me and my brother, my older brother, we share a collection, and we've always uh, enjoyed. That's just something we enjoy together. We've even when we've lived apart, when we live separately, when we when we're when we live together. And I, I live with my older brother currently. That's that's we live together. We share a house and we split the bills. But uh, we've always shared a collection. We've always shared the Transformers. That's our big thing that keeps us together. You know, uh, I mean, it's some it's one thing we've all, we're always passionate about together. But I lost my trip, my my actual point. But I know there was a oh yeah, there was a period of time where. We were, I think it was the end of Towards Beast Machines, where we were just aching for Autobots and Decepticons to actually return and see those old school styles and classic characters again. And then Hasbro, I got something in my mouth, I don't know what it is. Hasbro, that's what she said. Hasbro gave us, um, I want to say Armada. Then, or is it R.I.D.? But either way, when one of those came out, we were so happy. But then again, with both of those cases, they weren't quite what we remembered. So we wanted and we hoped for for actual return of a, a Gen 1 style, you know, because we're, we're what the fandom would call G1ers, you know, G-E-W-U-N-N-E-R-S, G1ers. We're just hardcore. We love G1. That's what we're about. Um, and we love Beast Wars too, but uh, we're we're G one guys. That's what we grew up with, uh, you know, and, and G two. But I remember that uh, when the Classics line first came out, we kind of missed most of that line, seeing most of that line. We did pick up Starscream, and I loved it, but we we kind of felt like a temporary thing. That is until Universe two point was announced. And uh, we got, got in that first wave of Sunstreaker, Prowl, and Acid Storm, I think. But that's when, at that point, we realized that this was going to be a continuous thing. 
a solid line, no matter the name changes. You know, they were all pretty much the same in scale with each other. Uh, they were, uh, because we had a continuation from that classic Starscream mold to the Acid Storm mold. So that's how we knew that this was, they're going to make all of them, you know, or they probably would. You know, because at that point they had made Acid Storm, uh, Sky Warp, and Starscream. So that's what, you know, of course, that's what started Chug, Classics, NK Universe Generations. But it, uh, really, though, it's Universe 2.0. Universe 1.0 was an entirely different thing. I don't think that's supposed to be included in, in the terminology uh, Chug. So, but in, anyway, Hasbro makes its slip ups, okay? Whether it be QC or leaked factory stuff or uh, not putting out uh, what we exactly want or some design issues, whatever, increasing retail costs. But if we stop and really think about it, there was a period of time, guys, and I don't know, I know a lot of you guys were there with us when this was occurring, and, and some of you weren't, and, and, and that's fine, but. There was a period of time when we were just so aching for combiners, for example, again. And we had nothing until we had we got the little power core combiners and we got we got teases of it, you know, throughout RID. Those were some cool bots, the rail team. That they were cool, but and we had like landfill, the construction, but but there were teases of combiners, you know. But we never had those solid G1 combiners like we used to have back in the day. And then finally, Combiner Wars comes out. And people are ragging on it for its reuse of the same molds and QC issues, I think, with the paint. Uh, I think. I've heard that. Uh, weapons, the feet and fists uh, for the combiners being less than optimal. And they weren't great. But yet they were exact not exact, but pretty faithful in comparison to what we had before, representations of the G1 characters and gestalts. I mean, to me, every time I heard someone bitching about Combiner Wars, and I'll give you an example, okay? Uh, the Transformer reviewer John Garriger, who I consider a buddy of mine. You know, I don't know the man personally. I, I know him online for a few years. I've known him. Good, great guy. Great reviewer. Uh, love his work. Big admirer. Always be a fan of John's. But he couldn't stand Combiner Wars, and he he went and he had some very valid points why he couldn't stand them. And made, I think I want to say the main reason was that reuse of mold, again and again. But uh, again, I you know for what we had, I just think it was we should be very appreciative of. And then we, it culminated with with the Titans and giving us that Devastator, who a lot of people. I mean, giving us that Metroplex and Devastator eventually and the rest of them. <clears throat> and looking at where we are now and where we're going and what we're getting, the Studio Series 86 line, like I talked about yesterday. And and well, I just got Scorponok in uh, this past month. Amazing. I mean, the construction, uh, it's it just everything about it is fantastic. Uh I think, you know, if you think about figures we've just gotten just this year alone, Kingdom Cyclonus, 86 Hot Rod, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. Galvatron was good, even though with his, with his QC problems, most of you picked him up. I mean, you, you guys, a lot of you will gripe about Galvatron, but you still buy it. And that's, that's, a, that's a trend I see, is that guys that will gripe about it will still buy it. And, and you can laugh at that statement and say, well, you have a right to critique it. Yeah, you got a right to critique it. But there's a fine line between critiquing something and, 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 and making constructive criticism towards them and saying, well, they can improve on these aspects and kind of whining about and crying about it rather than being grateful for what we have. And that's what I am. I'm very grateful for my collection and what it is and what Hasbro's given us. They'll give us more. You know, it, it, the Transformers are called that evergreen property. They're always going to make money, let's face it. But there's a massive underappreciation for what we have already. If we never got another Transformer, guys, look at our collections for a lot of us. Could we really say that we're not satisfied? I mean, I know if, if I was a kid, when I was a kid and I looked at my collection now, I'd freak out. Totally, just to see 
the amazing things that I have now as an adult. So if I never personally, if I never got another Transformer again, I'd be thrilled because not, not, I'd be sad, of course, but I'd be happy because I have amazing representations of most characters that I love. You know, yeah, we still need some, some guys in the line. They, they, they haven't touched on pretenders. I mean, not really. Let's face it. Uh, they haven't given us like characters like Needle Nose that we've been after. Sure, I'd love a deluxe and sec, you know eighty six Insecticon set. The rest of the Studio Series eighty six Dinobots. But if you think about all we have, it's just it just it's sobering to me that all we've been given. You know, when Combiner Wars gave us Skylinks, we bitched about it, moaned about it that he was too small, too big, and he was. But we did it so much. Hasbro listened, gave us another one, one that we love. Uh, people were bitching about, and I have a feeling that's the same thing that happened with the upcoming legacy uh, Stunicons, is that people, they've heard the fans complaining about the Combiner Wars Menasaur and those things and how much they're buying into the third-party stuff, and they decided, well, we're going to one-up it. And a lot of times they have one-upped the third-party companies. I remember years ago, and this is before the, the Thrilling Dirty Springer came out, I think it was Warbatron Defender. Was it Defender? You know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But they were saying, oh, he's perfect. We'll never need another Springer. I said, guys, at the time, and I swear to this, I can't really prove it anymore, but I, I said this to them. This was in a, a forum. We're going to get a Springer. Hasbro's going to give us one. Be patient. Sure enough, we got it, and no, everybody dropped their, their Warbatrons. Everyone, they got that Nick Roche Springer. And, of course, now we have an even more amazing so Hasbro's continually improving. We just got to cut them a little bit of leeway and be patient and lose that, uh, that I have to have something now mentality. That's why we have all these pre-orders that are months. You know, sometimes, a year, how long is the wait? And I know it's not a pre-order, but it's a backing, you know, for, for the HasLab Victory Saver. We, you know, we're talking over a year we're waiting after we back this thing, or about a year, so before we get in hand. But it's always the hope that, you know, or, or not hope, but we want something right now. We have to have it as soon as possible. What was wrong? You know, but this is a whole other video. I'll get into that about pre-ordering and, and things like that. But I just wanted to talk about Hasbro. I'm loyal to the company. They've done amazing things for, 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 for me as a fan and the hobby. Uh, they've, they've uh, and, I, and I'm very happy with them. But, uh. Let me know if you disagree with anything I've said, guys. Let me know. You know, we can have a discussion. There's nothing wrong with that. I got love for you guys as fellow fans, and that's something else I ask, you know, and I, I hope we have. Even if we can we can disagree about something, but uh, we can find common ground in just discussing something without getting heated or having a, a full-blown argument. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you disagree with me, if you disagree with, or agree with me, uh, whatever. But thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, make another vid here soon, and uh, God bless. Take care.